We made it to Friday morning, lads. I'm Jared Grace. And I'm Cheyenne Gallier, and this is your KWHS News. We have some new college visits that have been scheduled, so listen up. Remember, you need a pass from the Counseling Center to attend. Here's the lineup for October and November. Our October visits kick off next week when Colorado Mesa University stops by on Tuesday, October 2nd. Then on Wednesday, October 3rd, we have two visits on the same day. The reps from CU Boulder will be here during advisory, and at lunch, the reps from Barbizon Modeling School will be in the Lower Commons. If you are interested in attending the U.S. Naval Academy, the team will join us on Thursday, October 4th in room 501 during lunch. Closer to home, the reps from the CSU Pueblo campus are scheduled to visit on October 11th. And then on the 16th, the reps from Ozark Christian College are scheduled to stop by. We just added Pikes Peak Community College on October 30th. Luther College kicks off our November visits on Wednesday, November 7th. And then on November 13th, Fort Hayes State University will be here. For those of you interested in attending UCCS, they will join us on November 15th. Pulling up at the end of the month after Thanksgiving are the reps from Adams State who are scheduled to be here on November 29th. Pencil in these dates on your calendar because they are subject to change. However, we'll be sure to keep you posted as changes come up. Juniors and seniors, in about a month, WHS will be in ACT test site on Saturday, October 27th. The deadline to register for this exam date is today. For more information on alternate sites, dates, costs, and to register, check with the Counseling Center or go to the ACT website. One more note for juniors. Remember the PSAT and MSQT deadline to sign up and pay for the test is next Friday, October 5th. The cost is $16, and remember, space is limited to the first 20 students who sign up and pay. The date for the test is Wednesday, October 10th. Seniors, if you want to know what kind of financial aid you may need or qualify for as you are preparing for your college career, then join Mr. Walker at the Financial Aid Night on Monday, October 1st at 5 p.m. in the WHS Library. Specialists will be there to help you learn how financial aid works, how to apply for student loans, and most importantly, how to fill out the FAFSA. These experts can help you begin filling out the form if you bring your tax information. Mr. Walker is your point of contact for this event, so call or email him with your questions. The City of Life Homecoming Dance is this Saturday night from 7 to 11 p.m. in Bowers Gym. Today is the last day to buy tickets for $15 per person. You can pay at the door, but tickets will cost you $20. Our Homecoming Court nominees have been revealed. Our Queen candidates are Kayla Miles, Sierra Perea, Sheridan Deutsch, Madison Villers, and Kira Lee. Our King candidates are Moose Santos, Mason Schultz, Noah Potts, Brandon Ramberg, and Eric Nietzsche. The whole court will be featured at the assembly this afternoon, as well as at halftime at the game tonight. Winners will be announced at the dance. Ladies, it's not too late to check out the dresses in Becca's closet. Make your appointment with Mrs. Ford in room 122, and remember, the dresses are free and yours to keep. Coming up, let's head to the sports desk with Spencer Walter for scores and upcoming events. What's the good news, Spencer? It's Friday, Glads. I'm Spencer Walter, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Here's your daily dose with Mr. Damon. Hi guys, you're on with Damon's Daily Dose of Health. My tip for you guys today is to turn off digital screens an hour before bed. By turning off your screens an hour before bed, you're reducing exposure to blue light, which messes with your body's melatonin, which is our natural sleep hormone. Some things I might suggest instead of being on your screen is reading, writing, or even doing a little bit of stretching before bed. If you find yourself without the ability to turn off your screen, I would suggest switching off the blue light on your phone or even getting blue light reducing glasses. And that is your Damon Daily Dose Health Tip. Thanks, Mr. Damon. That's great information. Our boys' soccer team traveled to Woodland Park last night, but are still having some difficulties getting in the zone and lost to the Panthers. The boys are at home next Thursday against the TCA Titans at 4 p.m. Come out and support our GLADs. In tennis news, the boys traveled to Rampart to take on the Rams, but were not able to get their team in sync and dropped another match. The boys are prepping for regionals next week on Thursday and Friday at Cheyenne Mountain. We wish them many sixes. The 4A State Golf Tournament is next week at the Flying Horse Golf Course, and Joey Stroop will be representing WHS. Make us proud, Joey. 
Our Lady Glides volleyball team took on the Elizabeth Cardinals last night and were able to bump, set, and spike their way to a win. Way to go, ladies. The ladies are headed to the Purple School on Tuesday for matches against Mesa starting at 4 p.m. Go Glads, beat Mesa. The ladies would also like to remind everyone of their fourth annual Dig Pink volleyball game on Thursday, October 11th against Sierra. They are asking everyone to wear pink to this match to raise awareness and show support for people fighting against this disease. They will be collecting donations and will have a special presentation before the game for a breast cancer survivor. Congratulations to our JV softball team who swept the Grizzlies on Wednesday afternoon. Way to go, ladies. The varsity team traveled to Woodland Park last night and continues to show their domination on the mound. The ladies are on the road to Elizabeth on Tuesday to take on the Cardinals at 4 p.m. Our cross-country team is headed to the Northfield Invite in Denver this afternoon. We'll have an update next week. Their next meet is at Fountain Fort Carson next Saturday. It's homecoming night at CA Foster tonight. We sat down with Treshawn Green this week to get his perspective on the team. Um, this year our team is more young than I experienced and we're going through a lot of adversity right now, so that's kind of holding us back a little bit, but we're getting better. Some of the things that are working are the run game. Our run game is really strong and the pass game is just getting better. Some of the improvements we can make are coming together as a team and really just coming together as one and working together. Yeah, this, this coming up week, we will come out strong and we will be trying to Thanks, Trey Sean, and good luck tonight. Our Gladiator football team takes the field at 7 p.m. against Cheyenne Mountain. The boys need our support, so be in the stands to cheer them on to their first season victory. And finally, in swimming news, Mrs. Wickberg is holding an informational meeting for any ladies interested in joining the swim and dive team this year. Mark your calendar for October 15th in room 110 at lunch. If you cannot make it to this meeting, please see Miss Wickberg. That's your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Spencer Walter. Have a great weekend and best of luck to all our teams. Now back to Jared and Cheyenne with more news. Thanks for the update, Spencer. Glads, if you need a quiet space after school to do some homework, use the computers, or just kill some time until practices or games start, check out Student Union. The Student Union is open in the library every day after school from 2.45 until 4.15. Remember, you have to have a participation sticker on your ID to stay in play. Get those from Mrs. Price in the main office. Boy, what for what? I'm hungry. Every Friday, everybody! Woo! Friday! <laughs> <laughs> Friday! We're loving it. What's for lunch today? I like me a lot of pork enchiladas. Yep. Pork enchiladas mm -hmm. today. Refried beans! Refried beans! And today's a, today's a uh, assembly day. Assembly, assembly day. So enjoy that assembly. We don't see it until after fifth hour. For lunch. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so on Monday? Monday. Apparently, Monday's the new calendar. October. 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 We're gonna have some chicken fried steak. Mm, that's good stuff. Mashed potatoes. Dang. I'm gonna make sure I don't bring my lunch Monday. Okay, well have a great one everybody. Bye! Bye. Oh yeah. yeah. I can't wait for lunch today. Do not return your free or reduced lunch application. Your lunch fees are now full price. See Miss Betsy for a form or to return one. The ball is in your court now. If you owe money on your lunch account, please pay those charges in person or go online to add money to your account. Rats, it's Spirit Day, and today is Class Color Day. We are on an assembly schedule, so be ready to show your class pride this afternoon. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors, Renaissance applications are available on the WHS website under Activities. Download and print your application to apply for this honor. Applications are due on Monday by 3 p.m. to Mrs. Price in the main office. Attention seniors, Herf Jones will be in the lower commons during lunch next Friday to take your class ring and cap and gown orders. The sooner you order, the better. You should have received your Herf Jones order packet yesterday, but if you miss this meeting, see Mrs. Abeda in the counseling center. And one more note for seniors from the yearbooks. Your senior photos and quotes are due by October 19th. See Mrs. Kennedy in room 103 for additional details on how to submit those for the yearbook. And while we're on the subject of yearbooks, if you haven't ordered your yearbook this year, you can order yours today in the business office. Or if you prefer, go to yearbookforever.com and do it online. The cost is $55 until the end of November. Students and staff, WHS is hosting a blood drive next Thursday, October 4th in the small gym. All donors must have a valid driver's license, not a military or school ID, and parental permission for donors under 18. Permission slips are due today. Sign up in the business office. Walk-ins are welcome. If you are an alternate, you must also have a permission slip and valid ID. See Miss Melton in room 103 for more 
information and details. That's it for our Friday edition, guys. I'm Jared Grace. Hope to see you at the game tonight. And I'm Cheyenne Gallier, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great homecoming weekend.